hello again yeah this is the saturday wrap for saturday the 28th of january 2023 this is take two this one should have sound yeah picked the wrong input for the audio and came out with no audio yeah not exactly the best way to start things off yeah okay so if you haven't seen this before this is a look back on the previous week in my life health come back to that one um tech various odds and sods um beer a different beer this time this is uh from polly's from mold satin pattern b plus plus really good and i have it in a great welsh and cider um glass I don't know which year it is to be honest i haven't been there for ages anyway so okay let's start with the word or phrase of the week electricity okay so i think it was tuesday and wednesday tuesday was five to six and wednesday was 4 30 till six if you had a smart meter and you cut back on your normal electricity you would get a refund I find this perplexing um drive an electric car install a heat pump uh everything's electric nowadays and yet you're being asked to cut back on electrical power okay here's my plan if that's what you want to do and there's nothing wrong with it put the infrastructure in first um make sure you've got enough electricity for all these demands not say oh use these things uh, but don't use any of the electricity that you need to power them uh typically british typically back to front yeah or no as the case may actually be um the app of the week i look back on the apps of the week and they're basically mostly to do with twitter and twitter third party apps and this is sort of this is a early access ios app from the people who brought you a tweet bot um, that is a company called tap bots and it's called ivory and if you're into uh, mastodon which i have been for quite a couple of years to be perfectly honest um it's well worth looking out i've had a little look at it um i haven't actually installed it yet because it's early access and it's missing a couple of features it is a paid app and it's about 15 quid a year um but i think i probably will go for it uh, especially as the app that i'm using at the moment on ios is well the developer the developer isn't actually developing it anymore due to family reasons i believe uh so ivory as I've uninstalled Tweetbot from, well, especially from this Mac, and I think the iPads, although I've still got it sitting on my iPhone just in case, which is a shame. The thing of the week. The thing of the week, which is why I'm wearing glasses. Um, got home from Broom Monster last Saturday. Yeah, took one lens out. I went to take my left lens out. Couldn't get it out. TLDR, too long, didn't read, long story short, uh, probably about nine o'clock I was in a taxi, nine, nine-thirty, going down to the Royal Gwent after speaking to, uh, is it 111, the NHS advice line, uh, they said, keep your fingers out your eye, mind you, I probably had my fingers in my eye for about three hours, um, and go to minor injuries. It's difficult to get a taxi on a Saturday night. And I thought that um, minor injuries or A&E or whatever it's called would be packed out. There was only one person there with a friend, daughter, whatever. Okay, so yeah, I'd made a real mess of my eye. A really big mess. Uh, it was bloodshot, it was pussy. Um, the upshot is um, I'm on antibiotic drops six times a day until tomorrow and then for the next three weeks four times a day and I can't wear contact lenses for well another seven weeks it is now which I miss because uh, glasses although glasses give you much better vision um they they steam up when you go into a pub when it's cold out and um when it rains they get wet and you have to climb um, lots of things 
but these are the things that are sent to try us anyway off to see my optician on monday night get checked out there make sure everything's all right and since i only have one pair of glasses i need a second pair which won't be cheap these things are definitely sent to try us and january 2023 so far not my favorite month uh, the rona update of the week um, i don't want to say it's gone um i don't think i think i saw this week there were no new people going into hospital in wales with the rona um but when i got the minor injuries they gave me a mask um i wore it of course um although uh, it's one of those blue ones which i don't think do any good at all but masks have sort of disappeared apart from the last couple of weeks where you see people walking outside wearing masks where they well you don't need them um and especially if you're walking down the street with a mask and it's just covering your mouth and it's not covering your nose <laughs> anyway um yeah oh another bit of beer i think that is really good um so i had last friday off and i was in newport and when i was in tiny rebel i had a text from the passport office we've approved your passport despite the fact that the online app said they probably wouldn't take my picture they did um very fast uh, very very fast um jumping ahead i think it came on tuesday which is 15 days after i sent it off that is i know it's out of season uh, but that's really good and this morning uh, my old passport came back as well and then when i came home from newport my seed potatoes had arrived and this morning well this morning they're all out in trays and they are chitting like the wind really 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 are um saturday morning um i don't know if it was on friday i think it was um thunderbird stopped working and it was all due to an update saturday morning um i put the previous version back on worked a treat now you're always told patch 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 because the security bugs and all that sort of stuff sometimes sometimes software is not tested as much as it should be and it breaks things yeah it did with thunderbird <sighs> automatic patches are great uh, but in this case uh, not so great to be perfectly honest as i said saturday night um left contact lens stuck in the eye according to the hospital 90 percent of people with a contact lens stuck in their eye don't have a contact lens stuck in their eye i seem not to and i've only been wearing contact lenses for coming up to 40 years yeah not that good to be perfectly honest anyway um so come came home i think it was home about half no half 12 on sunday morning uh zero zero thirty hours um i was red very red very gungy antibiotic drops i had monday and tuesday off i slept most of monday and tuesday i didn't feel much better back to work on wednesday where it was still a bit gungy and i did get a bit of a headache um working with it but i had to go into work because it's not really good working from home i've got the space and I should have got a table during the Rona, but um, I didn't because I went into work all the time. Anyway, um, okay, so Thursday. Uh, overnight into Thursday, two weeks ago, Facebook updated their app and managed to break um, sharing functionality. So if you were sharing from iOS, uh, you, as soon as you put the location in, that's all that would happen. Untapped and swarm and a week later when they did the next update they didn't fix it and it took them two weeks testing software this is a bit of a theme to be perfectly honest it really is um friday camera camera vouchers arrived although i still haven't used all the ones from last year and the year before mind you 50p off a pint of real ale and real cider and real perry i need to start using them because well times are hard they're definitely hard um and coming home from work weed killer and compost and this morning 
Well, I planted some mint seeds uh, in some pots. Well, they're not pots, they're tubs that are Chris, had Christmas chocolate in them. Um, they're going to be on the inside um, window sills with a bag over the top, so you've got a microclimate. Um, going to plant some spring onions tomorrow, the same thing. Yeah, and as I said this morning, chitting. Sorry about the previous version. Um, I hope this one does better. He says, hopefully, it is 30 seconds longer as well. Brucey bonus. Okay, bye-bye.